When I was at school, uh, I was already interested in rainfall and runoff. And as one of my uh, projects at school, I think during A-level geography, I actually built a lysimeter, which is something that um, hydrological researchers use to measure rainfall and runoff through natural soils and vegetation systems. Mine at the time was a washing up bowl, and some of my tools and techniques have got a little bit more sophisticated, but it's remained an interest ever since. So I think it was fairly natural for me to choose to do geography at university. No one ever suggested engineering to me, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed my geography degree. At the end of it, I had a fantastic understanding of how many natural systems work, from glaciers to rivers to weather systems. But I didn't feel I could do anything. I didn't feel I could actually solve any real problems for society. And that was something that I was increasingly feeling I wanted to do. After finishing my geography degree, I was really lucky to get involved in two research projects, both of which were focusing on sewer discharges into urban rivers and the impacts that they have. The second of those was basically a PhD opportunity here at the University of Sheffield in civil engineering, and I've stayed in the same department ever since. What I was doing in the PhD was using laboratory models to understand how sediments moved within the sewer system, how they might get discharged into the river. Interestingly, we used crushed olive stone as a surrogate sediment, which is quite fun. And the other thing I was doing was using computational fluid dynamics modelling tools to understand um, the flow patterns and how those flow patterns affect the movement of pollution through sewer systems. And most of the research I'm doing now really relates either to the urban hydrology, the rainfall runoff, or to the detailed understanding of those hydrodynamic processes that go on inside things like manholes, storage tanks and other components of the sewer system, as well as ponds with vegetation in, which is a current project I'm involved in. I think the one single best thing about being an engineer is the focus on making things better in, for society, for urban systems, for river quality, whatever it might be. There's a, there's a very constructive, creative focus on doing something that makes a difference. So it's going beyond understanding, it, it requires skills of problem solving. Every day there are different challenges, but ultimately the aim, the focus is to, to do something different. So I get to liaise with people from a lot of different disciplines in industry and within the university here. So, for example, my green roof work is collaborative with people in the Department of Landscape. Other projects I've been involved in involve colleagues in animal and plant sciences. So actually engineering's a, a good melting pot for a lot of multidisciplinary activities and I think that's one of its other great features.